Hello. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to import models at runtime using the Piglet GLTF importer. So I'm here in Unity 2019.3 with a new blank project. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is install Piglet uh, in the project. So normally you would do this from the Unity Asset Store, but since uh, Piglet isn't on the Asset Store yet, I'm going to install it from a package file. Regardless, the set of files you're going to get is the same, of course. Okay, so Piglet's been installed. It's added the Piglet and plugins directories. Um, so I'm going to add another directory called scripts, and that's where we'll put our example importer script. So create C sharp script, and I'm going to call it importer behavior. I'll open that up in my code editor. Okay, so um, the way that you import models at runtime is that you have to create an import task. Well, first I'll, I'll um, add using piglet to the top of the file. Uh, so we have to, as I was saying, we have to create an import task. So I'll create a member, member, uh, member variable for that. And then in start, we'll create that task. So the way that we do that is we call uh, runtime GLTF importer. Get import task. Um, so the argument to get import task is the file path or the URL that you want to load. Uh, so it's more convenient for this demo to use an URL. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Piglet WebGL demo. And I'm going to copy the link for the default model, which is this Sir Piggleston link, this this guy here. So that's this link over here. Go back, copy that in. Need some quotes. Okay, so that creates the import task. That won't actually do anything on its own. So what we have to do is in update, we have to manually pump the execution of the task by calling move next. And that's it. So that's the minimal code that you would use uh, to import a model at runtime. So I'll go back to Unity now. Um, so we need to attach that script to some object. So I'm just gonna create a empty game object called importer. We'll attach our import behavior script. And uh, now when I run it, we should see the model. I'll save the scene first. Here we go. Great. OK. Um, so that's all you need to get started. But um, typically, uh, you would want to do something a little more sophisticated. So um, the way that you do uh, fancier things in general is with callbacks. So I'm going to show um, how you can use some callbacks now with the importer. Uh, so we'll start uh, by showing some progress messages while the importer is loading the model. So the way that we do that is we uh, we use the on progress uh, callback. So you'll notice that there are a few different callbacks here. So there's on completed, on progress, on aborted, on exception. So the, these are the callbacks that you use to in, integrate your own code with the importer, basically. So right now we're going to add progress messages. So um, I'll have that call a method called on progress in our class. So that doesn't exist yet. I'll have the edit, editor generate that method. Okay. So I'll explain what these arguments are. So the importer proceeds in steps where each step imports a different type of entity. So entities are like uh, textures, meshes, 
uh, materials, th things like that, different parts of the model. Um, completed is the number of uh, entities that have been imported so far for the current step, and total is the total number of entities for the current step. Um, so the easiest way to show a progress message is just to log to the console, so that's what we'll do here. Um, Okay, that should do it. So now uh, if we go back to Unity and we run the project again, we should see some progress messages in the console while the model is loading. Yep, yeah, and there they are. Okay, good. So another uh, callback that would frequently be used is the uncompleted callback. Um, so typically you're going to want to do something with your model uh, once it's successfully been loaded. So for example, you might want to parent, parent it to another game object, or you might want to attach some mono behavior scripts to it. Um, so I'll show how to use that callback as well now. Um, so for demonstrative purposes, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to spin, once the model's been loaded, I'm going to start spinning it about the y, y axis as if it was on a record turntable. So again, we'll make a method called uh, uncompleted, have the editor generate that again. Um, so the argument that gets passed to this callback is the root game object for the imported model. So I'm going to define another member uh, that, that holds a reference to that game object, call it model. and we'll, all we'll do in this callback is, is set that reference. Uh, also here I'll just print a success message to indicate that the import completed successfully. Okay, so now for spinning the model. So the, mo the model reference is going to be null until it's actually loaded. So here I'll just check that the model is not null. And if it's not null, I'll uh, rotate it by one degree about the y-axis. And that's it. So now when we go back to our project, we should see the model spin once it's been loaded. So I'll click play here. And that's it. Uh, so that concludes the tutorial. Thank you.